welcome back to my channel as you can see no makeup well I've got foundation on and today I'm going to be testing out oh. these are called the Essence My Must Haves palettes I've got seven of them I showed her for the day just to see how they work just to see if they are pigmented just to see if if they are good because they're super affordable it's like 35 rand for for one of these little eyeshadows and the palette's also 35 rand so super 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 affordable and if you can get them on special Clix normally has a good special on for you buy two and you get one free so in essence you'll get <laughs> in essence you'll get three, eye, three eyeshadows for 70 bucks that's always a win in my books so okay I'm just gonna jump right into it I'm just going to be using a quick transition shade in my crease it's just like it's that one over there I actually love using this one because it's not too bright and it helps everything just blend quite nicely. <clears throat> I've already like primed my eyes. I've put some concealer on. And then I just powdered over it. Because I found that if you don't do that then your eyeshadows don't blend as nice as they should. And they become very patchy. Which I don't like. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm feeling today. If I should just do like neutrals <clears throat> or if I should be more bold. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm just getting quite a bit of that in my crease just so that the colours on top will blend nicely. Because if you don't have enough then, oh, then it just won't blend, it will look weird. There we go. See, it's nothing too like major though. It's just, it's perfect. So, I've got this unicorn brush set. I actually need to invest in some really good brushes. I saw real techniques that I'm really into. But yeah, just my little unicorn brushes. And then, okay. So, this little panel, all my mats. This little panel, all my shimmers. Okay, so, let me just tell you what colours they are. This is like a white shimmer, but it's got like a little pink undertone to it. A little pink, nothing major. Um, this is called Cotton Candy. This is Raspberry Frosting. Apricotta, I think. And then this is Meet Me in Coral Bay. This, I don't know, it's got like a funny like overspray on it. So... You need to like take it off before you can actually get into the eyeshadow. Then we've got this one is black as berry. This one's got a weird name, mauve or something. And then brownie luscious. So I think I'm going for a little bit of a shimmer to it. Nothing major. But I think I'm gonna use this. And I might use this one. And I don't know, I think I'll just do light today because we are daytime. Okay, so let's go into that one there. I'm just going to bring it a little bit under my crease. Sorry if you hear little noises in the background. It's my three year old. Just a little bit under the crease. Just to darken it a bit. It's a very nice colour, I must say. It's not too like majorly bright. But you can see it's there. See how nice that blended with that like transition shade that we put in? Perfect. So that one gets a thumbs up for blending. Okay, so then I just want to let's use Brown Delicious just in my outer corner. 
Sure, okay. That is pigmented. <laughs> and it doesn't look that dark in the pan. Wow. Okay. So we'll just do the outer corner. Wow, that is crazy. Maybe bring it in a little bit. Okay. Not too bad. I'm surprised at how pigmented this one is. See, again, it's crazy. Oh no, but it does blend a bit funny though, I must say. You can see it's a bit patchy. I'm just out of the corner. Bring it in. Okay. So I literally just used Brown Delicious here on the outside. It blended like quite nicely though. In with the transition, but it was a bit patchy. Next, there we go. And then I'm, I'm going to take the same brush where that colour is on, just pull it in underneath my lash line. Maybe I should add a bit more. See, nothing major. Just so it pulls everything together. And you don't pull it in completely unless you want your eyes to look very like small. And I've already got very small eyes. So you just pull it in about halfway. Blend these two just together. Normally I like taking my beauty blender just to to neaten up the edges. But I actually want to go in with this apricot shade again. I'm not really seeing it on my eyes. And it is very, very, very powdery. There we go. That looks a bit better. See, nothing major. And then you just blend it all together. No harsh lines. I think I'm hearing my three-year-old. But it's fine. Then I'm going to take my little detail brush. I'm going to go into cotton candy. Also, this is very powdery. And just do the inner corners. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, like, the fall up. And the inner, inner corner. But you can see it's not really picking up. Oh, here we go. You really have to layer it. Not too bad. That apricot shade, I don't know, it's very light, you really have to build it. Let me just blend, I don't want any like harsh lines. And there we go. I, haven't, I didn't try them all, but this is what I could create with that mauve colour. Brown delicious and apricot. And I will insert some swatches somewhere in this video so that you guys can see. I will do a brush swatch with my packed brush and I will do a finger swatch so you guys can see. <music> So let me just go finish up my makeup and I will be right back. So this is me done. I just put some blush on, some highlight, did my eyebrows, quickly put some mascara on and I uh, just bronze up, I bronzed up my face. I cannot speak today, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, nothing major. It looks quite nice though. Gets a thumbs up from me, especially for affordability. So, I hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So, I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And yeah, 
let me know what other videos you guys would like. Drop it in the comments below. Bye.